Welcome to Lessons from an Old Quilt. My name is Chris O'Neill from Sew the Distance and I'm so glad that, that you're joining me today. So this particular quilt was made by my grandmother. It's a scrappy version of a brick pattern. And I, when I researched the pattern, there were a few different names for it. One was staggered brick patterns and another one was London stair pattern. So uh, if you're ever looking around for a quilt pattern, this is a really great one and it does give a really wonderful effect. So this particular quilt measures 82 by 84 and it has some wonderful features that we're going to talk about as we take a closer look at this great quilt. So let's get started. So when we take a closer look at this quilt, we can see that it's a fairly simple pattern. There's bricks or blocks here and then this row is staggered a bit so the center of this block meets the seam line here and it gives you that stacked brick or brick wall effect with the bricks on top of each other like that. And um, you can see that the only really control color that my grandmother used was this navy blue that allows for this diagonal brick design on the entire quilt. And she has several rows of them that we can see. Other than that, there's just a lot of scrappiness to this. And even I think some old sheets were used on the front because this particular fabric looks like a, a sheet to me that I've seen on a different quilt that she made. However, we do see some other fabrics uh, that I don't think are sheets that are just calico fabrics. And uh, there's really no rhyme or reason in this part, this low volume part of this quilt that shows how exactly she put it together. It just seems very random. So the only thing she really controlled were these navy blue solid stripes. Another thing that's really interesting is there is some blues in some of the fabrics, but not a lot. So uh, I think it also adds to the feel of this because it's not real matchy matchy. And uh, it just really has that nice high contrast that you like to see uh, in designs. Also, it's important to note, uh, my grandmother used some white thread to piece this and you can see some of the thread coming through. It's not a big deal. I don't care about it, but I do like to point that out because sometimes people, you know, don't match their threads or even use a neutral thread and sometimes it does show up. Now, is it a huge deal? No, it's not a huge deal. And who cares really, right? But if you are really wanting not to see any of those stitches, you might want to consider using a neutral thread like a gray. That's what I use. I use pretty much gray all the time or even a matching thread. It would be really difficult to use a matching thread necessarily in this entire quilt though, because you'd have to change it when you were piecing these and that could be a real pain in the neck. So I would suggest a neutral with this. So the back of this quilt is a flannel sheet and it is a nice soft flannel sheet. You know how sometimes they can be more stiff. This is certainly very soft, although it's been used a lot and it's been washed a lot. So it has that pilled feel to it, you know, that sometimes flannel sheets get. And, um, but you know, it just, it's so soft and cozy and wonderful. What's really nice is the, uh, the yarn that she used to tie this quilt, you can hardly see the ties on the back. And I think that's what she wanted. She didn't want you to be able to see the ties on the back. Uh, not that that would have been a big deal either, but still it was that the lighter colors that she used that kind of blended in with this backing. Now she, like she always seems to do, she took the, um, she and she just pulled it to the front for the binding and wrapped it around. But what was really interesting about it is she didn't cut the sheet. So she used, I believe, a full size sheet and she didn't trim the sheet. So she just, the excess that was on the ends, she just wrapped around and folded under. So the top and the bottom binding is much wider, but it gives this wonderful uh, border effect when you look at the entire quilt. So you see something thicker on the top and bottom and then something thinner on the sides. And I kind of like it. I think it's a really great idea. She didn't even have to cut the sheet and she could just fold it over and use what she had. She then machine quilted around that edge to hold it down on both the bottom and then in the middle. And I'm sure that's to give it some more stability. The batting in this is, I think, a polyester. It's um, it seems to bounce back unlike cotton uh, and it's just a really wonderful quilt. So what can we learn from this quilt? What lessons is my grandmother telling me through this quilt? Well, I'm glad you asked. So let's get started talking about them. The first one is the high contrast of that one fabric, that navy blue fabric. Now there's some other darker fabrics in there. There's the green and some reds. Uh, there's also some lighter fabrics like the yellows and the 
the creams, but that navy blue solid really sets the tone for this really cool pattern. And if you're gonna make something like this, you know, it does set it apart and it really gives it some wonderful interest if you do something like that. The next thing we can learn from my grandmother is to not only use a sheet for the backing, but use a flannel sheet. And oh, it just adds such a cozy, toasty feel to this quilt. You just wanna wrap yourself in it and it's wonderful. Uh, I have yet to use a sheet on the back of a quilt. And I think, oh, I think months ago I said I was going to, I still haven't done it, but I, I'm considering using a flannel sheet because it does add a really cozy feel to it. And lastly, about that backing, if you don't wanna cut the sheet, just fold it over like my grandmother did. It looks like a border at the top and the bottom and it adds to this overall look of this quilt. And how cool is that, right? That's what it's all about, keeping warm and do, making do with what we have. I'm not sure exactly why she didn't wanna cut the sheet. She had on other ones, but she didn't want to and she didn't. She just wrapped it around and it looks like these wonderful borders. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Lessons from an Old Quilt. I hope you enjoyed looking at this quilt with me. It's uh, one of our family favorites and it is a cozy, wonderful quilt that I will always treasure, especially since my grandmother made it. I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful day and make sure you make some time to quilt. Bye.